if we need to approve the ones from the joint meeting. I don't know if we need to the joint group again on the 18th, on the 18th of June. Um, I don't know if anyone had a chance to review them. Or yeah, I don't think they need, I don't think no. they necessarily need to be approved. Right. It's just a, a meeting summary anyways. All right, so we got that. All right, so June 20th, meeting minutes. Did everyone get a chance to look at them? Mm -hmm. Any errors, omissions, corrections? I move to vote to approve the uh, uh, second. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All in favor of the minutes? Aye. Aye. Thank you. All right. So, um, we've got a couple things. So, we want to see your responses. Oh. Um, next steps talk about um, the community forum meeting for September 18th a little bit, general communications, talk about our next meeting. Any other items? If these guys have any public public input, we can open it up to the floor to if anyone um, is here. So, does anyone have any additional items? So, as your responses, we're short. Yeah, we spend an RFI out uh, for uh, to see if there's any interest at all. I sent it to, it was posted on the School Board Association listserv um, and to see if there's any information there that, that people might need or, or interest. Uh, we haven't gotten any feedback from that particular piece. Um, the, just to go through quickly the places that it went, uh, Somerset School Board is going to be discussing the request this Thursday at their board meeting. So that will be coming to them for additional discussion. Um, it went to Portsmouth and I got an email back from the superintendent saying that there is no interest at this time. It went to SAU 50, which is Greenland. Um, he called and left a message that they are still in the process of discussing it, uh, and they will revisit the request at the at the um, at the school board level when they have a meeting. He didn't say when they have a meeting. He said the last week of July is when they had their school board retreat and they would revisit it. So I would assume I would hear something yeah. either this week or next. Thank you. Uh, Northwood um, called and said that they would be discussing it in late July and the, said that the door is not closed, they would just have a discussion about it. Um, it went to Dover and I have not heard anything back from Dover at this point. Went to SA5 which is Oyster River. Uh, and they got back to me and said there's no interest at this time. It also went to Newmarket with no response to this point. Um, it went to Marshwood and I talked to John Caverly today and he said that they had additional questions that he'd like information <coughs> on. So he's going to be emailing me a list of questions and I'll, I'll shoot him out the answers to that so they can make they went to Rochester, um, and I have heard back from them, and they have said that there's no interest at this time. Uh, it went to Barrington, and they also expressed that there's no interest at this time. It went to Milton, and I haven't heard anything back from them, and that's the extent of the feedback so far. Thank you. So we still have a number of them out there. Some people are still <coughs> asking for additional questions. Not uncommon during the summer, especially because a lot of boards either don't meet or meet only once during the summer. So, um, well, well, we'll see what kind of feedback we get. You know, there's still a couple of irons in the fire. All right, so we've got seven maybes at the moment. Essentially, yeah. 
California has seven, maybe three hour response. Well, I'm counting the Kind of middle responses, responses yeah, as possible. Open doors. Where did we get them? Uh, we just put in, I believe we put in. <coughs> August 23rd. Yeah. So there's still, I think we wanted to stretch it out a little bit because some of them don't meet very often. Right. So, can I just clarify something for myself? Sure. So, it, uh, if nothing happens with any of these options, according to the state, we will continue with Summersworth status quo. Not in the contract, but uh, unless Somersworth acts differently. If they decide to <coughs> withdraw as well, then it wouldn't stay status quo. If you do nothing and they do nothing, it stays the same. to reply with a proposal or just to say yes we discuss further? Uh, well we sent we sent the, the RFI out and it's requesting any detailed information they have. I would imagine that any information we get back at this point is going to be ballpark information. Okay. Um, because ultimately if that's the end game that that's where you're going to go then it will be up to the school boards to negotiate back and forth finally. So we'll get some information if someone is interested. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Concerns? Comments? Alright. So I guess one thing is wait and see, right? Yeah. The August 23rd deadline. Um, I guess if, if we do hear back from anyone positively between now and then, if let us know. I think that'd be helpful to just know. Maybe a little bit of relief, okay? <laughs> it would be good to know what someone sort of concludes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I fully expect someone's worth to, to, based on our last meeting with them, to uh, right to say that they're interested in, in contracting. Right. Um, and and we, I thought we were pretty clear also that our our. We, we were expecting some information, I think, from Bob tonight about um, launching our own SAU. We were, we were look for, we were, I think we were looking for some ballpark figures for that. I think that was requested. Um, and, and that based on maybe what we hear there, I, I, I thought we had a pretty clear direction that we were probably going to contract, at least initially. It, it, doesn't, it ties us only to the length of the contract, which could be couple of years, three years, or it could be longer, but um, but it also gives us time then to work out other things. And so I think that's where we are right now. Yes, do we have any sort of ballpark figures of standing up in this area? Yeah, I, I ran some numbers uh, assuming a superintendent services for two days a week, a business administrator two days a week, uh, special ed director two days a week, and then I tried to piece in uh, supplies, technology, software, business software, um, and again, these are very fluid ballpark figures because it depends greatly on who you get, um, you know, what other assistants are you going to combine, like the secretary's uh, position with your school secretary services. What are you going to do with telephone? Um, so the number that I came up with was right in the area of $220,000. However, and this is a very, very big however, um, that does not take into any consideration of facilities, rent, electricity, oil, um, any of those things. So if, if it's in your, your own building, if, it, if there's a space within either the, uh, the town hall or the school or someplace like that that may be, may be you know, cost neutral. Um, obviously that, that could be a pretty low cost. Uh, if not, if you need to lease a place or rent a place, that the rent alone could be, in the, you know, thirty to $40,000. I think my last SAU was about 48000 a year that we were, we were renting. 
Now, you're going to have a smaller office. Speak to so. that. Uh, I, yeah, with the size of the staff and what you need, I, unless you're setting aside a room to have large meetings, which I don't think would be necessary considering what's available, I, you should be looking at a total office cost of less than $1,000 a month. Yeah, it, it, I was, I was so saying that awesome, yeah. you've got a smaller <coughs> office, obviously. I mean, if you, were, if you were housing the office that I presently have, it's a pretty big facility. Um, but if you're, uh, if you're housing you know, a, a smaller um, three people, four people, something like that, obviously the, that's going to go down. So, like I said, it's very fluid in, in what you're going to be paying for, for those services. So, I would say an educated guess is somewhere between like 210000 and 300000 depending on many things. Mm -hmm. And that, did that include hardware? Hardware setup and all that stuff. Uh, I, I put I put some, some money in there. in there, but you know there are a lot of a lot of ifs when you're starting a new office. So. Right. Thank you. Yeah. And it would, so you know you're estimating two days a week, mm -hmm. and on the third day we have a you know a serious problem with the student. So does that superintendent then become per diem for the days that they have to come in? Well, it depends. I mean, a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, part time. I'll just pick the superintendent instead of the you know the business administrator yeah. or whoever. A lot of superintendents that are part time in these types of situations are contracted uh, hourly, and it's a it's it's often a a not to exceed number. Um, so some weeks it might be uh, you know twenty four hours or thirty hours, and other weeks it might be eight hours. So, and again, that's going to depend on the person that you, you contract the services with, the agreement that you make, the availability that they have, um, because you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, you're not going to have a superintendent available and I think it's just, at all times. You know, kids don't wait for the two days that the superintendent is available. Well, are, I think he's saying it could be right, it could be. multiple days, right? But, it could be, but it could be. Could be, but it, again, it depends on the person you get, the availability they have, and the contractual agreement that you set down. I mean, that's one of the things that's a benefit of contracting a service with a, a, an SAU. Right now, you have a full service SAU. Yeah. You don't use them all the time, but they're available all the time. It's sketchy. I mean, you know, kid comes to school with a gun, you, you need to have the superintendent or a special ed student does something, they need to attend a cool remark, we need a superintendent to intervene. The, there are a lot of situations like that. I mean, right. You may have a, a problem with the roof, the ventilation right. might go out, or, or you know, a personnel issue, or who knows. Right. It's yeah. a full time job. Yeah. And, and, and I believe that's, and I, I'm just going to keep sort of going around in circles here, but I, I believe we as a group have more or less decided that it would be better for us to contract, at least initially. So I mean I, I you know we can't, I don't think we I, I mean I don't maybe we need to reaffirm that again and so what we need to know is who's going to get back to us and we don't have anybody saying yippee we want you right you know no one has said that except I think we all heard that relatively clearly with our last joint meeting that, that summer's worth but again would 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 be interested in, in but they have be interested in um, contracting our the services to us but. They haven't met yet as a school board to say that officially. Um, and I think, Shelley, to your concern, I think it's worthwhile just to have those numbers anyway, because people are going to ask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. And it's a nice little slide there that people can look at and say, yeah, for all these reasons, we don't think it makes sense. Yeah. Not only dollars, but you know, support levels, too. But going into this school year, since Summersworth hasn't withdrawn, and it's not going to happen in two weeks, the, the withdrawal process, so we're still we're still working together, right? Mm -hmm. Until yes. July yeah. 1st. Yeah, nothing's changed right now. Right. Absolutely. The earliest start date is July 1st, okay. 2020. I would say, Judy, to your point, though, I'm not 100% convinced that we we rule out our own SAUs. I'm not convinced that we're, we're there. I think we need to look at what comes back, look at the estimated costs. I mean, does someone really need an office? Do you have to have a superintendent's office? Um, we need a conference room too. 
you've done this, you've got school, the school, you've got town hall. So it's going to be confidential. Though. There's a lot of uh, options for office space, for computers, hardware, etc. All of that is a tiny fraction of the cost compared to put the yearly personnel. Right. Mm -hmm. So the benefits. Yeah, I do agree that having our own SAU is not entirely off the table until we get quotes back. I, you know, if we see contract services are coming in at 400000 a year, 500000 a year, then we would look at uh, what it costs to do it ourselves and evaluate whether it's worth paying extra for an SAU. Uh, I think just knowing that, that Two hundred and twenty to three hundred thousand dollar a year figure for running our own. Uh, I helps us put the quotes for contracting in the proper context, as well as obviously other people are going to ask that question. What would it cost if we just did it ourselves? And I, I think that there are. I mean, there are successful part time. There are a bunch of part time superintendents in the state. Um, it may be worth us having a conversation with. Interviewing, maybe get on a conference call and, and talk to a couple of them if they'd be willing to talk to us about hey, how do you share your time? How do you deal with crisis situations? Um, and just understand that a little bit. I mean, there's the reality that there could be two emergencies, in, one in Summersworth, one in Rollinsford, and you may not be available. So it's completely plausible that it's not just a Contra, uh, you know, having a couple part time. He yeah, has an assistant superintendent. Okay. But if you want superintendent services, I mean, I, I get it. But I also think that there's, we need to think about and understand how it would work for us. It's not the model we have today, it's not the model we will have going forward. I think I'd also like to talk to someone who's chosen to contract services. I'd like to understand that a little bit more and arm ourselves with that information um, so we can come up with those questions. Hey, you know, say, here's one of the ones that are still up. Um, so say new market comes back, or let's, um, sorry, Greenland's a great example because they have Newcastle, Newington, Greenland, Rye, <coughs> so multiple schools, um, multiple school dis and small little districts, and small schools just like us, right? So I think that's a, how do they divide their time? How does this start? Um, down there, no. Um, well, okay, so whoever the, the superintendent, I mean, I think, I don't think because of the part-time nature of what we need precludes us from looking at it. I think we have, I think we have to, we have to do our due diligence. Yeah. So in, a, in another subject, we, you know, we've met a few times with Summersworth, and I think I heard that they felt that we were paying a fair share for what the services we required, the 16% that people, did anyone else hear this? Mm -hmm. That they felt in the office, you might even mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. that the feeling is that we're paying a fair amount. So if they're going to come back to us with a contract, when They've already said, not the city council, but the school district. We think you're paying a fair share. Uh, you know, I, I guess I don't understand. Well, let me clarify: the contract will not be with the city, the city of Summersworth. It will be with the school, board, right? The school board will, right? Uh, if we contract, it will be. With but it's the, the city board. that kind of initiated this. Yes, but they only initiated the fact that, that the withdrawal. That's big. Well, and actually, they did, but it has to be the school board, I think, who initiated it. But, um, that's big. So, you know, my feeling is that certainly they're going to ask for more money, even though what they're receiving now seems to be adequate from the people who are providing service to us, are saying that the fee is adequate. I'm not sure I jumped to that conclusion yet. I, I, I think that, I think that it... it Ultimately, the, the, the amount of money, if any contract is going to be negotiated between the, the two school boards. And um, I think that depending on who you talk to, some may think that you're getting a heck of a deal over here because you're getting a full service SAU for a fraction of the cost. Uh, others,
others would say that the percentage that you utilize it is is right on to what you should be paying. Um, so I think that I wouldn't jump to conclusion that it's going to be more or less at this point. Um, I think I would just wait. And it is indeed the we use a, the state formula to determine what our portion is. And should we decide to contract, that would probably be our first our first step in negotiations. Be saying, you know, are you are you know, let's look and see what the state formula says and see if we're both comfortable with that. That would probably be our first step. I'm not saying that it is would be, but it probably would. But that formula is a percentage of their total budget. Percentage of it, it were, it's based on the number of students. It's not based on the total budget. But it, it ends up being then becoming right. a percentage of the total budget. So if the total SAU budget, period, right, not right. The, yeah. So if Greenland is a much bigger school, they could potentially have a higher total SAU budget that we would still pay 16% of. But now, if what, they, what they would look at uh, is uh, they would take what their total SAU budget is now, divided by the number of students they're serving, figure out how much it's costing them uh, per, per uh, unit, and multiply it by the size of us to get a rough estimate of what it's going to cost them. And then if they're smart, mark that up by some percentage, maybe 5% or something, so they uh, we're subsidizing their kids a little bit, uh, but we're still going to end up with a number that is extremely efficient. And it's not just on it's not just on the number of students in the budget; it's on the valuation of your town property as well. So that enters into the formula as well. So right. just to understand the students, when we, is it students in the district? So we're like we're paying for superintendent services for, and we're not even using superintendent services for summer tour. But we're using, I mean, sorry, for Marshall. Well, we are. They're still, they're still your students. They're still our students. Yeah. They're still our students, but their superintendent still oversees their education. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a. We still it's, do it's the, a, we still it's do a the budget line. piece. We still do the, the yeah. uh, special education piece. I mean, right. it, it still falls under our umbrella. But yes, you're correct. We still we, we, we pay part of it's, it's built into our tuition that we pay part of their That's correct. superintendent right cost. That is correct. All right. So what other questions do people have right now? Well, I think with time time is marching on, and we have right now we have a public forum um, scheduled. Not it's not public yet. September 18th. For September 18th, so. then by then we need to have a plan. Yep. So so, so we have. It sounds like we have quite a bit to do uh, before that. Yep. So we don't actually have to have the entire plan for September 18th. It's really it's more of a under, helping the community understand the process and where we're, we can share with them where we're at. But we don't need to bring forward here is our plan that we plan to put forward to the Department of Education. Um, yeah, part of the part of the community forum is to gain feedback from the community as to the direction as well. So we certainly can fill them in on, on everything we've talked about, the, the feedback that we've, we've gotten, the direction that we're considering, uh, and then at the, the community forum, that's their opportunity to provide feedback and perhaps influence this committee. And, and so what, I, what I'd like to see us do is um, plan for a meeting after the 23rd, because I don't believe we're going to have any more information, unless for some reason we get everything back next week, let's say. Um, I would propose that we, we set something up for after the 23rd. Based on that, we would decide what, um, where we're headed, and what do we find, what do we find out, where we don't know what we don't know. And during that meeting as well, we would want to understand what topics the flow of the presentation and conversation for the 18th that we want to have. Um, so, so the week of August, the last week in August, uh, school does yeah. start that week. So, let's see what Bob's availability might be. I can't do Tuesday night. Wednesday the 20th. Yeah. What's the first day of school? It's the first day. It's the first day of school, yeah. Is there any reason why we couldn't do the 28th? I've got a water bucket meeting. Oh, I do too. 
Where's that? We can't get this room on the 29th, but we're also back in school. Um, we also, with the first week of September, would still be, yeah. you know, that would give us two weeks to put stuff together before presenting it to the public. I, I want to say the fourth is when they were trying to do open house. I forget when Rollinsburg open house would be, but, but I think it's that week. One of those days, I forget which day. I want to say it was the tenth. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. I could be wrong. So we want to shoot for the oh, okay. third. Okay. okay. Just the day after Labor Day. The first week of September actually is more difficult for me. <laughs> what about the twenty ninth? Does the twenty ninth work? That would be. 29th of August? Yes. Yeah, that's doable. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm away. Oh. The Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. And then, because that's Labor Day weekend. It is Labor Day weekend. Oh, right. That's true. We're getting more close to the weekend there. Yeah. Yeah. Did we decide the 27th? He can't, it, it must be the it must be Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. before here. Wednesday is water sewer. Oh, okay. yeah. Tuesday is summer before me. 26th or is that 26th? 26th.
anyone else have a lot of interest in that? Yeah, I mean, I'd be willing okay. to call that. So, maybe I'll coordinate with you, Joe. Um, now, as far as, are you looking to, to get some people that would be willing to just to, I guess the idea is for them to talk to us, to educate us, how this works, how, you know, what do you see as a successful? Yeah, what are so, the risks, yeah. what are the, you know, are there challenges, what works well? I'm um, your office. Right. <laughs> be there. <laughs> um, so, we can, um, I can either start with the public list of superintendents and go through the ones that are part-time, or if you know anyone. I, I can give you, I can give you some ideas. Okay. What's the best number to get in touch with you? Six of them. So we just keep that open and if anyone has questions they want to ask, feel free to follow them my way and I'll get them on the yeah, I think it might be a good idea to have an idea of you know, a list of questions of yep. what, what we'd like to ask. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, I think um, I think we'll have enough time to prepare um, for the 18th, like Brian said. Um, any other concerns about those dates, though? So we've got come as well, hopefully. August 28th, the so next meeting, and then Wednesday, September 18th, like the public forum. Is there any other outreach we want to do between now and then? Any other opportunities at the school or the town to communicate? We'll go on the town's website. Yeah. September 18th. That will, yep. Yep. I don't know if there are any other events or anything else that we want to be present at. We've got our FAQs. We've got. We probably set flyers up for something at the open house. Mm -hmm. I know the PTO is planning on having a table for having their first meeting, which is the 11th the next day. Does the grade school have a Facebook page? It does. So we yes. see if we go on there. Yeah, yeah, we could ask for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. September 18th. Well, it's not. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a grade school event. So. Oh. Okay. I mean. I mean. I mean. It's a way. To, it's a way to. I guess let parents. Yeah. Know. Yeah. yeah for parents. Yeah. 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 Right. So, okay. Just to put it on the school board uh, Facebook because that's what touches oh, okay. everybody mm -hmm. for the grade town. Because, yeah, I mean, this does affect the entire school district, not just the grade school. So. so we talked about doing a like a brochure or a flyer. Um, I was thinking that was more likely towards the time that we're voting. Um, but do we want to do something earlier rather than later to get people interested to come to the forum? Or do we think we can do that all electronically? Or Even if it was just something we posted around town that would for people who aren't on the film. With FAQs, you mean FAQs? FAQs, or even something simpler, just about the forum. To okay. And maybe yeah. just a general definition of what the NSA you is. So. Well, the FAQs kind of covered that. But yeah. if you have like a little brochure talking about the reference to that. Yeah. Well, we could have both. Yeah. 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 Is that something we might want to work on at our next meeting here? I think I prefer to have us have us if a couple if someone's interested in working on that, work on it, bring something back for us to react to because I think next time we're gonna have hopefully responses to talk about and also preparation for the forum. Um, so we should work on something. Do you mind? Yeah. Okay. And then um, and then we can use social media. And then also we talk to Rich about maybe appending it to his first newsletter or whatever he's going to do for the school. Um, I don't know if there's something for Marshwood, um, but Rollins for its students in Marshwood, a way to get those parents. Well, they've been, Marshwood has been um, good in the past about uh, sending emails to all uh, Rollins for students. So I'm sure I can't remember exactly what for, but they, they have done that. So that so all the parents are. Would it make sense to use that as well? I, mean, I think we should use whatever uh, yeah. we can to get people to come to the forum and, and get some information out that's not overpowering, but the FAQs essentially, or, or either sending people to the FAQs or, yeah. or actually showing them to them 
um, something simple and then the cues. That, right. that right. page is pretty dense. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want that. Yeah. Be quick. And I think the important piece for the information aspect is, is to, to remind people that this is just the SAU service, it's just right. the right. basically the business operation of your school district. That's the important thing. Yeah. So because people get really nervous about all well, the kids, we don't want them to go. Right. We've got, it right. really has little or nothing to do directly right. with the kids. Referring to it as the business side of the is effective. Yeah. yeah. Especially as we talk about other geographies, like we talk about New York. Oh my God, the kids are going to go New York. <laughs> right, exactly. No, that's not, that's <laughs> not what we're saying. <laughs> You. I would have said something if I had something. But no. I, I don't, don't doubt it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. You guys good? All right.